let's learn about multiplicative functions and the part one of this video will be posted in YouTube and the part two will be posted in the self-learning portal of Chinta so check the link in the description uh, to access that now multiplicative functions are very powerful and they are used in mainly two places at least up to college level uh, they are used in number theory widely used in number theory and they're also used in group theory the problem that we will be working on is from ISI entrance it's from ISI entrance 2006 me math problem number two problem two so before we actually solve the problem uh, let me just quickly say what I mean by multiplicative function so a function f is multiplicative maybe I can define it first a function f is multiplicative if f of a star b is equal to f a star f b and star could be any operation that we are interested in so operation so for example star could be multiplication f a times b we may want it to be f a times f b star could be addition depending on the context so f of a plus b we may want it to be f a plus f b star may be something else so whatever it is the context will tell you what star is one example of a multiplicative function is the Euler's Torsion function. We discuss it in our number theory module as well as in, as in group theory module. Euler's Torsion function counts the number of numbers, the number of numbers less than equal to n and which has HCF 1 with n so if a is the number the HCF of the number with n is 1 we count all such numbers that's what the function Euler's torsion function that's what the uh, Euler's torsion function does I'll give you an example suppose 8 is a number look at all numbers less than equal to 8 which has HCF 1 with 8 those numbers are 1 3 5 and 7 for example HCF of 1 and 8 is 1 HCF of 3 and 8 is 1 HCF of 5 and 8 is 1 and HCF of 7 and 8 is 1 so what Euler's torsion function does is that it counts all the numbers which have HCF1 with 8 or with n, whatever n we are interested in. So if this, f, this function is phi, then phi of 8 will be 4. Why? Because there are 4 numbers, 4 such numbers, which has HCF1 with 8. Uh, let me give you one more example to make this idea absolutely clear what is phi of 15 so take 15 let's find out all numbers less than equal to 50 15 which has gcd 1 with 15 so those, those numbers are 1 2 4 7 8 11 13 and 14 so these are the numbers so hcf of each of these numbers is with 15 is 1 HCF of 1 with 15 is 1 HCF of 2 with 15 is 1 and so on so what is phi of 15 
it will count the number of elements in this set and that will be 5 of 15 is 8 all right so what is so beautiful about this function well this function is multiplicative phi function is multiplicative why uh, so, for example, if I take two numbers a and b whose hcf is 1, then phi of a times b is equal to phi a times phi b. If, then. So, this is a theorem. One needs to prove this. This is not automatic. You need to prove this. So, this will be uh, posted in our internal video how to prove this and how to solve more difficult problems using this property well let me give you an example so for example HCF of 2 and 3 or maybe 3 and 4 is 1 what is phi of 3 so if you look at the numbers which are less than equal to 3 and whose HCF with 3 is 1 those are 1 and 2. So, phi of 3 is 2. Phi of 4, you can check, is 2 as well. Because numbers which are less than or equal to 4 and HCF with 4 is 1, those numbers are 1 and 3. So, there are two numbers again. So, phi of 4 is 2. Now, let us figure out what is this multiplicative business all about? Phi of 3 times 4 is equal to phi of 3 times phi of 4. This is the claim. We don't know this yet. We know phi of 3, that is 2. We know phi of 4, that is also 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. We expect, we expect phi of 3 times 4 that is phi of 12 to be 4. We want this to happen. Let's check if that happens. So look at 12. Let's find all numbers which are less than or equal to 12 whose HCF with 12 is 1. So those numbers are 1, 2, 3 will not work, 2 will not work, 3 will not work, 4 will not work, 5, 6 will not work, 7, 8 will not work, 9 will not work, 10 will not work, 11. So, 4 numbers. So, phi of 12 is 4, as expected, right? This is the essence of multiplicative property. Why is the Torsion function multiplicative? Why is the Torsion function multiplicative? We will discuss this in our... Um, internal video and in our class lectures and we will also discuss some of the problems related to this particular property but this is a very critical question you can think about it it's a critical question now the problem that uh, the ISI entrance problem says is that if P is a odd prime odd prime how many numbers are there? How many numbers are there? Numbers are there which are less than or equal to 2p and whose HCF with 2p is 1. With 2p is 1. Now think about this problem. We have a odd prime p p is a odd prime how many numbers are there less than or equal to 2p whose hcf with 2p is 1 think about this you have to use the basically they are asking you to find out phi of 2p and you have to use the fact that phi function is multiplicative use phi function is multiplicative and if you have the answer then you can put, post it in the uh, comment section. If you are an internal student, go to Chinta Classroom Portal. In the self-learning course, you will find 
the second part of the video soon and if you are a full-time student then you will find this discussion in our number theory module live classes keep on doing great mathematics and i will see you in the next video